Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I am working on week 21 in my 2023 Project Life album. Uh, but in aid of Christmas in July, I have put together a stash kit. And this stash kit is uh, purely bits and pieces that I found in last year's December daily stash that I didn't use. And I just put together kind of bits and pieces that could be used for I guess non-Christmas um, projects or project life spreads because this is definitely not a December spread it's not even a July spread so I can't even say it's a Christmas in July spread this is birthday week from May so everything that I put in here are Christmas supplies they're predominantly from um, Pink Fresh Studio there's some citrus twist there's some other little bits thrown in um, but I've pulled out the kind of the pieces that I think that I can use for non Christmassy weeks and that's exactly what I'm putting together now a lot of the kind of and I use very loose quotation marks around here. The cards in this kit are mostly just scraps of 6x6 papers that I've cut down to either 6x4 or 3x4 cards. Um, and a lot of those happen to be packaging from that, uh, I can't remember the name of the Pink Fresh Studio collection but there was this really pretty like rainbow stripe uh it was actually in one of the pattern papers as well but on the packaging and some of the packaging it's a little bit thicker and some of it's a little bit thinner but it coordinates with one of the papers and this chipboard frame that I've got here so I loved that uh everything that I used up I kept the packaging for and so I've just trimmed that down and added it into this kit so I've pulled out a few bits and pieces and I decided that I would just start um, with kind of a filler card. This is just my birthday marker card. Um, I'll be honest, like I had big plans for birthday week. It was the um, Create and Connect weekend. Um, I had taken some time off work so I could have like a crafty little staycation at home obviously um like my actual birthday and Shane was going to take the day off and spend the day with me um and then I got really sick <laughs> so I spent most of birthday week uh feeling pretty miserable I didn't get to do a lot of kind of crafting or like my plans just changed so there wasn't a whole lot of photo taking um most of these photos are actually from birthday my birthday day um I got a bunch of beautiful flowers in fact I got a couple of bunches of beautiful flowers um Shane got me a really delicious cake and by this point in the week I was actually feeling a little bit better so I did do a little bit of couch crafting um catching up on some of those create and connect videos and, and just having a play and making a little tag flip so I did end up having a really good birthday despite not feeling the best um, and so those photos uh, are the flowers at the top the cake that I'm adding the little chipboard frame to now and my crafting photo all from the same day so the only photo in this spread that wasn't from my actual birthday is the two kittens. This was actually like the first time that they had sat together, just chilling nicely without trying to terrorize each other. Like, don't get me wrong, they love each other, but they never stop playing. This was the first time they had kind of chilled together. So it definitely deserved a spot in this week. So I made that uh, birthday marker card just with a chipboard frame and then I had some red craft foam that was kind of just sitting in my Christmas stash uh, and so I die cut out a couple of numbers with those scrapbook.com dies, 42, that's how old I am now. So I've added those in and the gold puffy stickers were from Citrus Twist and I hardly used any of them so I'm going to use a bunch on here. I've added the little hearts onto that birthday card and it is quite a like bright shiny gold so I thought it worked nicely with that yellow card um, and you can see I've got a bunch of bunch of stickers there like they're not all Christmassy themed like I thought there were quite a few I say like regular words in there as well so I'm going to try and use a bunch of that I didn't have too much space on that uh, kitten photo 
there was the skelet sort of border sticker so I added that onto there. Now the chipboard with my cake did have a kind of Christmassy sentiment on there so again this is um, some citrus twist tiny words uh, and I gotta say these didn't come out of my Christmas stash uh, they were just from my regular stash but I thought the colors worked nicely and I knew I was going to need some kind of regular sentiments in here so I've used a couple of them one to cover up the Christmas uh, sentiment on that chipboard and one just to add to my little flower photo I will add some alphas to that later on but what I want to do is create a little title on my craft photo here so I've got um, this is just a digital label and I think this one is from the Veronica Creates shop uh, and I'm going to use these little tiny black alphas and they were just super cheapy ones from Unity here in New Zealand uh, and they're they don't show up on camera but they are black glitter I really liked them but I only had the one E left on there I didn't really want to put it back into my stash without the E's so I figured I would just use as many as I can uh, the photo is quite busy though so that's why I've used the alpha but because these are uh, sorry the label but because these alphas are quite small I can fit my whole title in here so I'm just gonna spell out crafty time it did take me a little while to think like what words am I going to use? I've only got one E on here, so I need to need to be careful with what E's I'm using. Crafty time worked nicely, and I'm just going to stick that down. You can see that the photo's busy. Um, we've got a black glass coffee table, so it wasn't like light and bright to add alphas onto. Um, the label just helps it kind of stand out off this very busy background and then I'm going to add a little bit more gold I'm going to use the word happy so my happy craft time uh, just gives it a little cluster to that photo <laughs> in amongst quite a busy little photo so I've really only got a title page uh, title card sorry and some journaling to do the journaling I'm just going to type straight out onto that card uh, I was going to swap it out with that um, the thicker striped one you can see that I pulled that out first and that's the actual pattern paper as opposed to um, packaging I actually really loved the packaging because it's so subtle and I kind of wanted to use it more than once so I've got um, the same rainbow stripe as in that chipboard it kind of becomes a little bit of a theme so I'm going to do my journaling just straight onto the three by four packaging card and then I decided to use the four by six piece for my title card I did want to add a little bit of kind of extra color in here though so I cut I think it's about a one inch strip of um that green tealy green dotty paper I love that it's so cute but just to add a little bit more um like extra color on here so not um not red and not yellow like just an extra color I've got green in that chipboard frame and there's a few little bits of kind of tealy green in my photo so it, the title card strip just kind of pulls it all together that alpha is also from pink fresh studio it does not have um numerals though so I have to cut some numerals for my week number uh, and I didn't want to use the same alpha dies from scrapbook.com it would be just too many big numbers competing with each other I really like that the big 42 tells you exactly what this week is without really having to um, like think about it too much so i happened to have these little number dies handy they actually came with my sidekick and have just been sitting uh, in a little tray on my desk so they were right there when I was thinking about um, what I was going to use in terms of week numbers I saw them and I thought perfect so I've used the same pink cardstock that I used for the bottom right hand three by four card um, but I've just bumped them up a little bit so I stuck some of that red craft foam onto the back of the cardstock um, just to make them a little bit thicker and also add a little bit of that kind of red tone onto there it worked really well the die cutting machine did kind of flatten them out a little bit but if you give it a bit of time they kind of pop back up so that was a fun way to make kind of two-toned um I keep wanting to call them alphas, two-tone numerals or two-tone alphas you could as well, uh, 
just with one die cutting machine. So that that worked perfectly. I decided I would add that big hello on there, but I just it wasn't particularly balanced. I haven't the numerals are quite thin compared to the other alphas, so I haven't really centered this kind of title cluster particularly well. I'm very carefully peeling them off and I'm going to move them just over a little bit. It's an odd gap, so I'm going to fill it with a heart. I have used those two hearts um, on that numeral card down below the title card, so it, it kind of makes sense. I'm going to end up adding a couple more as well because I'm going to take this card away and do my journaling. I just ran it straight through my typewriter, so there was a bit of a gap at the end, and that's where I decided I would add these extra little hearts in here. So I'm going to just add a few, few more gold hearts. I'm going to add a couple underneath. Uh, the journaling and then to keep this line of hearts going because you'll see they kind of go from that top card and they're heading towards the bottom I decided I would sneak one extra one in here down on this chipboard frame as well and that gives me that really direct line all the way from the top and the bottom now I thought I might be done but I decided I wanted to add another word with these black alphas because that sort of crafty time title was really sticking out to me so I'm just going to add the word now because I couldn't couldn't make up any other words it needed to be small it needed to use the alphas that I had now worked perfectly and then that is my spread finally all done I probably won't continue on my Christmas in July theme with the rest of this month's Project Life spreads, but this was a fun little challenge to kind of use up some of those extra Christmas supplies. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.